Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anna Manuel with Big Fox News. Overdose deaths continue to plague Elmira. Investigators say officers responded to eight more overdose calls since a public health alert was issued at the end of last month. Three of those cases ended in death. Police believe opiates are being mixed with other drugs like crack cocaine and marijuana, and they say that makes the chances of overdosing even more likely. If you have information about narcotics, you're asked to call Elmira Police. Two men identified and arrested in connection to a burglary in Big Flats. New York State Police say 32-year-old Nathan Andrews and 39-year-old Jarek McEnroe are charged with felony burglary. Police say they entered a building on Hammond Street in Big Flats last month, but the crime wasn't discovered until last week. McEnroe is in the Chemung County Jail without bail. Andrews is out on bond. A volunteer program at Arnott Ogden Medical Center in Elmira receives national honors. The hospital's Poison Prevention Program is the winner of the 34th Annual Hospital Award in Volunteer Excellence in Community Outreach from the American Hospital Association. Since the 90s, the program has educated countless school children in six counties on poison safety in the home. Just this past year, volunteers reached 5,000 children through 257 presentations in 68 schools. Glass Fest is fast approaching. It officially kicks off the summer season in the Finger Lakes. The Corning Gaffer District comes alive with works of art, food vendors, and music. The festival is four days starting May 25th. That's Memorial Day weekend, by the way. For a list of events, you can check out gafferdistrict.com. Aren't those pumpkins beautiful? A lot of cool stuff there. Well, hey, are you tired of this cool weather? Yes? Well, meteorologist Kim Walker will let us know when we're going to warm things up in her Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, welcome back, everyone. It's been a cool day. Temperatures, though, actually did climb up to around 60 degrees, so just a little bit cooler than yesterday, where we saw a high of around 61 degrees. As we drop into tonight, uh, temperatures will really plummet close to around the freezing mark, and, of course, the surfaces could be uh, close to freezing or even below that. So we do have the chance for some patchy frost across the area as we start off the day, but then it's going to be sunny, and it's going to remain pretty cool. The temperatures that we saw today will be much like what we saw tomorrow. Increasing clouds through the day on Thursday. It will be a little bit warmer, but we do have chances of some showers in the evening and then more scattered showers as we head into your Friday. But our high today was 60 degrees in Elmira, a little bit cooler in Ithaca, 53 degrees, 51 in Binghamton, 56 degrees in Watkins Glen, and in Bath it was 55 degrees, 57 uh, for Corning. As we make our way into tomorrow, high pressure will continue to build into the region. We are going to be on the east side of this high. So we're going to be on the receiving end of cooler air as north winds uh, come across into our area. So we are expecting another cool day tomorrow. Temperatures will be at or below freezing. So it's going to be a little bit chilly, but not too bad. We're going to see plenty of sunshine. Tonight, though, it's going to be cold as we drop down to around 32 degrees. Partly cloudy skies with some patchy frost possible as we start off the day. Tomorrow, highs will be around 59 degrees. Partly cloudy skies and the winds will be pretty light, unlike what they were today, where it was like very breezy out there. Temperatures warm up to around 64 degrees on your Thursday, which is just about on target for this time of year. Our overnight lows will also climb up into the 40s as well. We cool down a little bit into the upper 50s for Friday with chances of scattered showers, more widespread heavy rain possible for your Saturday with a high around 58 and then we'll be back into the 60s by early next week. A little bit of cloud cover, possibly even a few showers on your Monday, but for the most part, I think we'll see dry conditions and temperatures will be just like what we saw today or even better, especially on your Thursday with a high around 64 degrees with plenty of sunshine. Okay, we like sunshine. Yes, we do. That'll be fun. All right. How about this? This is also fun. An 11 year old that's battling cancer is getting her wish granted by the Make a Wish Foundation mm -hmm. and the announcement itself was just as memorable for her nurses. We have about 15 minutes till she gets here. 
the staff at Medical City Children's Hospital in Dallas coordinated a flash mob dance for the big reveal. Make-A-Wish North Texas is sending 11-year-old Alex Kiker and her family on a beach vacation. Yes, Alex has Hodgkin's lymphoma. That's a cancer that develops in the lymphatic system, part of your immune system. But nurses say they're so happy that they got to take part in something mm -hmm. positive for yes. families. So often, so often it's maybe sad news. This good news. Just going to the beach. Yay. Thanks for joining us.